Colombian, no more. Oh, men and a banyo. Who quiff them now? Oh, I have made up my mind. If I be more well, what happened in there? I saw them leaving and they were smiling as if you have finally agreed to do what they want. Never. If those men are smiling, it is because they must have deluded themselves to think that I have agreed to their very lousy ultimatum. What ultimatum? Uh, they have requested that I apologize to their so-called Zenozo group. Else. I lose the throne. And that is a very area I do not want them to touch. The kind of money that will come into Omongene when the international market commences will be excess. And a large chunk of that money belongs to the throne. My friend, I do not want you to lose this throne. My main challenge right now is that I feel that his elders will turn the youth against me. That is my fear. So why don't you invite the youth leader, talk to him, and through him you can get to other groups in the land. It is good to have a thinking friend, eh? Ndo. Thank you. That's, um, that's a very bright idea. So what do we do? We, you set up the structure, all right? Get me to meet with the youth leader, all right? So that way uh, we can have the youth on our side and then we take it from there. This whole thing is sure affecting you. Look at you. You look so sad. And it's as if you've lost weight overnight. <sighs> you may be right. I've not been eating well since this whole thing started. I can understand. How are you coping? What can I do? I'm, I'm fine, I guess. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to leave the prince? Hmm? I will do no such thing. To me? I think you need to give the prince some space now. At least you have time to figure all this out. Well, I think differently. The prince needs me now more than ever. I think Ogechi is right. So the elders will get their eyes off you. What are you two saying? Please don't get me upset. Girlfriend, we're not trying to get you upset here. We're only being concerned here. Yes. We are. I guess you're right. Even my parents are making things so difficult for me right now. Really? The thing is, I love the prince so dearly and I intend to stick with him till the end. Ah! Ibezim, oh. greetings, my prince. Thank you. Sit. Hey, I can see that um, you're very well entertained. Eh? <laughs> can say that again, my prince. I am, and thank you very much. Great. Um, I called you here because I hear of um, an impending protest. I'd like for you to tell me what it's about. My prince, you see, the elders of this land made the youth to understand that you have chosen not to reign peacefully. That you are planning to re-establish some pagan practices. And these pagan practices will end up destroying this kingdom. Is that so? Did they tell you specifically what these pagan practices are? Mm, my prince, as a youth leader, 
for it not to appear as if you are a, 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 a dictator, there is a way a youth leader will function. He mustn't seem to be imposing some decisions on the youth. So you 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 follow the majority always. <laughs> the majority always. Um, you busy. I understand your situation. As a leader of you. Okay. Um, but you are their leader for a reason. Okay. And part of your responsibility is to lead them to the truth. Very important. And understanding that will also teach you that sometimes the majority could be wrong. I think you are right, my prince. But this time, I don't think they are wrong. Why would you say so? Because uh, majority of them have mm -hmm. had one-on-one -on -one interactions with you. And they affirmed the fact that mm. your, your, your decisions and the way you want to do things are different from what your father stood for. So, you see, they are not wrong. I am happy that you have come here today so that we can talk one-on-one -on -one so that you and your followers do not operate on ESA. But I assure you, you that at the end of this conversation, you will find out that someone somewhere, some mischief maker is bent on hiding the truth. And that some individuals have been playing on the psyche So, I will educate you. Zobiora, <laughs> I appreciate your coming. You know, as true Christians, you are urged to always come to the house of the Lord once in a while. May the Lord be with you. Amen. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. You know, we are taught not to distance ourselves from the house of the Lord. <laughs> you are absolutely correct, Nizir. <laughs> that reminds me, how are you planning the coronation? Uh, Father, we have put the coronation on hold. Why? The prince is insensitive. He has the plan to reestablish the hidden practice we have abolished as a people. A hidden practice? Yes, Father. Where is that coming from? I've always known him to be a well-educated and highly religious young man. So what has gotten hold of him? I mean, where is this coming from? Father, we are surprised as well, but we won't let that happen. But please, Father, do not. I don't want to talk about the young man. I will compile the rest tonight. Hopefully, before morning March tomorrow, you will receive an email. That's okay. That's okay, Nze. Thank you for coming. Yes, Father. So have a nice day ahead of you. Yes, Father. And not be with you. Thank you, Father. Oh. What is going on? Uh, uh, I can't believe this, my prince. Are you, are you telling me the truth? I am telling you the truth. Listen, we have abandoned our ways. As Africans, as a people, we have abandoned the ways of our forefathers. And we have embraced a pattern that is not even clear. And what have we found ourselves in? Total injustice, sabotage, betrayal, all kinds of evil. At your own time, settle down and investigate the atrocities in Homo Nguyen. And I assure you that you are going to find the elders and the so-called titled men in this kingdom at the helm of You are very, very correct. You know, you know what? I <laughs> manana say, "Alo ba for blue manana." You know, I have been thinking because the, the atrocities and the injustices have been so much in the land, and I've been wondering how do we get this land healed? Right. 
But uh, I never, I never thought of it that the solutions to these problems could be this simple, my prince. No. <laughs> it will not be simple, not at all. But I can assure you that if we pull our strength together and work as a team, we can defeat this evil man who will not only sleep with other people's wives, but also widows who are still mourning their husbands. You know, if this man had gone through the ancestral process of Eka Manili, they would have been careful. But be that as it may, if you can get the youth to join forces with me and stand behind me in this fight, I promise you here and now that I am going to restore the sacredness of Zenozo. My prince, you need not to worry about this. I have the youth. Thank you. I will talk with them. Thank you. I will get them to support you. Nah, you see, you see, my prince, don't worry. You see, what you have, we have been yearning for this long ago. I don't think there is any way that we, the youth, will not give you our maximum support. Thank you very much. It's a promise. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you, you know that my father was a very peaceful person. He was a total gentleman. And so during his reign, um, he ignored a lot of anomalies. But my reign will be different for the good of the people. Oh, where them? Yeah. You look at him, or you look at him. You know that I have traveled, I have seen the world. Yeah. Eh? And I have mingled with Westerners, and I can tell you that they are laughing at us even as we speak for abandoning the ways of our fathers. Hmm? Walk with me. Eh? And let us rewrite history. Eh? Don't worry, <laughs> my prince. <laughs> we are in this together. Dalo. Eh? I are Thank you very much. Thank you too. What exactly do you think you know about Chief Tensi? Why are you discussing something you know nothing about? My princess, Nzenozo is not the same as Chief Tensi. Anyone can be given Chief Tensi, but not anyone could be given Nzenozo. And where did you get that from? My princess, I was born into it. What the prince is planning is to re-establish the old process that will make the men of Nzenozo very accountable. You really need to support him. Oh really? I should support him to bring back what my father never practiced? Something rooted into paganism? Chinyere. Can you hear yourself speak? Are you still normal at all? Now listen to me. I do not ever want you to raise this topic again. Am I well understood? If that is the reason, I think we need to support the prince. Exactly why I called both of you. We need to work together to see how we support the prince to achieve his plans. Ibezim, I am still surprised why the elders are ganging up against a nobleman. Why? Chidi, I am surprised at your surprise. You know these men are evil. And they are afraid that his plans with what they theirs, thereby restoring sanity in the kingdom. They are banjo, remember? They just want to have a particular system that will help them and enable them to keep perpetuating their evil. And that's why we have not fed Dre as the people. In fact, please do. We need somebody like him. <laughs> you know, I've never told anyone the reason why I counseled my marriage with Amara. I don't get that. <laughs> the Obiora lured Amara with his money and fake promises. Are you serious? Wait, wait, wait. wait. And you are telling us now? I'm very serious. You know, I was able to brief the prince about the whole thing. And from what I gathered, the prince told his father 
and the late king invited in the obiora which he called me and apologized to me after having his way with amara and i just had to cancel the marriage that is the more reason we need somebody like him those men are evil yes i am glad and my happiness is that all of us are on the same page and I think organizing the rest of the youth can never and will never be a problem. I think so. Don't worry, my prince. You don't have any problem. The gods are always with the just. They have good intentions, so don't be afraid of anyone. Thank you very much, Obefinwi Izaba. I have enormous respect for you. I've always known you as a man who stands for the truth. One of the few men in Omungana who will not be manipulated. You know, when I embarked on this mission, I had you in mind, Obwefi, because I knew that I will have your support. You are right. I am in full support of you and whatever you are doing. Dal. Go ahead with whatever plans you have. I am solidly behind you. The gods are with you. Never mind those men who have not been able to come to the deity, at least for, 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 for the ancient and noble ritual of Eka Manile, marking of the tongues. And they go about parading themselves as members of the Nelson group, which they are not. <laughs> Wefi, thank you for this clarification. Um, I believe that these men know the truth and that is why they are kicking against me vehemently, but they will not succeed. Well, that is it. They know the truth, but the thing is that they are afraid of the truth. They don't want to face the truth. So, uh, but like I said earlier, you have my support. You have the support of the gods because you have good intentions. So go ahead. Nothing will happen to you. Be afraid of no one. Because I'm with you, I'm with you. And if there is any time you have any need for my advice or assistance, don't hesitate to come to me. Thank you very much, Obwe. Zobiora. Zobiora. Come, something is seriously going on. Something what is happened? Wrong. The youth of Umungene. They are no longer on our side. There was a dangerous politics that flew around Umungene last night. The youth are backing out. How can that be possible? I met with a youth leader, Ibezim, and he gave me his word. It is possible that he met Prince Ike Dinibo, Osinafia Ike Dinibo, after that meeting with you, and the prince brainwashed him completely. <laughs> True. Mm, that cannot be possible. Who is Ike Dinibo to brainwash such a man like Ibezim? Ibezim himself will not even allow that American returnee to lead him astray. He cannot. Well? He's very rooted. Though. But we have to start planning for something next. Because as it is, that American returnee has brainwashed him. Simple. Uh, I even wanted to make call you and the... Uh, Ake Ushuangwa, later in the day. Eman came in. Silas, are you in nature? Eh? He is back. Silas, in case. Eh, no. And he, he, he even invited us to come to his place. Okay, I get him a kid. I'm a good one. Silas, can I go and we we'll take a decision after the meeting? I'm in a fuss. I'm back. 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 I'm <laughs> As a priest of the church, it is my responsibility to ensure that whoever goes contrary to the dictates of the church be brought back to the path of righteousness. I have been hearing a lot of unpleasant reports lately, one of which is that you are trying to re-establish an ancient hidden practice, long forgotten in this kingdom. How true is that? 
I do know. Let me educate you on this matter. But I'll start with telling you that Nzenozo has nothing to do with Christianity. It is a prestigious assembly instituted by our forefathers for the administration hmm, of justice, amongst other things. So whatever decision I take, as it affects Zeno's title taking, really should not be a bother to clergymen like you. You are absolutely wrong on that, my prince given the fact that members of my church are equally members of Nzenozo. And, and uh, with all due respect, that is where I'm from. Can I ask you a question that may help streamline my argument? Okay, go ahead. Obuefiwini Zoba is the chief priest of Umoke Kingdom. And you know, would you allow for him to be given a knighthood title in your church? Oh, come off that, Ikedenebo. Why would you ask such a question? You know full well that your heathen priest is not a Christian and therefore cannot be knighted by the church. Do you know that I agree with you? <laughs> yes, I agree with you. He cannot be knighted by the church. Because he is not qualified, at least based on the structure, the initiators of the knighthood title have put in place. That is how it is with the Nzenozo title. There are ancestral procedures that you must go through to be fully initiated. Do you understand? I do. But let me quickly remind you that this process that you're talking about, those procedures are deeply rooted in paganism. And as a Christian, you should not be found wanting in that regard. Nobody should see you as one who condones that kind of ethan practice. For I want you to do me a favor. As we do not interfere in the process of the knighthood of the church, the church must not interfere with our cultural and traditional heritage of Nze Nozo. Well, I understand what you're trying to say. But let me also tell you that people have been given these titles in the past without them going through the so-called process. In the past, you say. But I say in no distant past. When these missionaries that brought us Christianity came here, those white people pegged it a heathen practice. And to a layman, it was explained as a pagan practice. In other words, paganism. But then men began to rise in Homongeni. Wealthy men, men of substance. And then they wanted to become a part of the prestigious Zenos. But the problem though, was that these men were already Christians. Some of them Pentecostal, some of them Catholics, Methodist, Baptist, Anglican and what have you. So what they did was to criminally come together, connived and instituted a means by which they boycotted the ancestral process of Ekamanile, which is the foundational ritual that an initiate must go through to be a certified member of Zenozo. And that movement watered down the power of Zenozo 
to a point where it now became a mere chieftain's title that can be conferred on just anyone who can afford it. And that also gave rise to a set of fraudulent men that call themselves in Zenozo men who lie, men who sleep with other people's wives, men who come together to sell community lands, share the money amongst themselves, men who take money from dubious politicians and perpetuate evil in Umungine. That has to stop. Nzenozo is sacred. Nzenozo is no longer what it used to be. But under my reign, Father Donald, things will be done right and the truth must come to light. Hmm. I agree with you. I'm happy you do. Absolutely. I agree with you. But don't you think that all these antithetical vices that you outlined, that the Inzenozo indulge in, don't you think it can be curbed instead of us going back to this ancient practice? Because even your father, the revered king, did not even bother to re-establish that process. And as someone who is a Christian, who believes in our Lord Jesus Christ, you shouldn't be seen as one who will want to bring that kind of ancient practice back. Now, as a Christian, I think this is about you, not about the elders. I don't know. If you are indeed a man of truth, you are going to be proud of me and the end of all of this. I will have you know that this has in no way affected my Christian faith. Another truth? I was first a man of Umun Kene before I realized that I am a Christian. Have a beautiful day, Father. Dole. I have made up my mind. Powerful decision makers of my land. I am happy to have you all. I am indeed honored to have you at such a short notice. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, the true son of the soil, mm. for having us here today. We're always happy to honor your invitation because we know what your generosity can do. <laughs> I heard that um, the prince is giving you a little headache. Oma, forget the prince. He is a small boy. Yes. We put him where he belongs very soon. As the boy on the scrotum grows, the scrotum itself grows. Oh, no. I personally do not like that prince. He's such a proud person, claiming to be a saint that he is not. Anyways, um, whenever you need my help. Just let me know. Ongwa, you just describe that prince in few words. But you need not bother. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you it's you could water. My elders, relax and merry. Food will be served soon. I hired one of the best chefs around. <laughs> After that, I have a package for all of you. Silas, you know. Oh, man, you have spoken well. Mm. We need more of your type in this kingdom. How about you? I will be with you all soon. Oh, oh, one man. minute. You are the one we are waiting for. You are the one. We are the one. You are the one we are waiting for. You are the one we are waiting for. Hey, 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 oh, 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 o
Oh yes, I may not be coming back to Europe until early next year. There is this new brand of politics that I want to start playing in my land. Oh yes, um, yes, that will keep me up until early next year. Listen, Bishop, I trust you guys. I know you will always deliver. So please, handle things the best way. My son will always come around. If there is anything that requires my signature, he will handle that. He will sign on my behalf. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, it's okay. I will talk to you later. Good. Uh, yes, 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 yes. All right. Bye. You have been my reliable partner and it is only right that I put you in picture. What is it? We don't have to search further. Silas Ilo of Omungene Kingdom is the one who is going to replace the prince. And he is the one we are going to make the next king. I don't have any problem with that. Of course, there is no other person better than him, I know. The only problem, though, is how are we going to bring him into it? I will call the Chijoke once I drop this call. But the most important thing is for three of us to agree together. Once the agreement is in place, leave him, I will bring him in. Of course, you know I will always give my support. You don't have any problem. Good. I will call you again if there is need. All of us will be happy. Bye. Thank you, Dan. I'll call you. Oh, cheer up, Guru. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. <laughs> so, how is your beautiful daughter doing? Oh, you mean Belinda? Mm -hmm. She's fine. <laughs> She's fine. I hope I'll get to see her before I leave. Of course, why not? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hola, uh, is here. <laughs> thank you, Madame Mukwe. Uh, the powerful woman of my land. You can say that uh, again. <laughs> For I told you not to bother yourself. Eh? But no, no. You know that is not possible. There must be cola for a visitor like you. No. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, go in and call me Belinda. You will like to see her. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> Odogu. Odogu nowhere. Uh, cola is here. <laughs> My beautiful daughter. Hey! Always making me happy. Yet you connive with your husband to frustrate me. You will not let me marry the man I want to call my husband. Mother, you don't need to hear this from me. You are being very unfair. Because Silas Zillow is here to see you. I don't have any business with that fraudster. I don't want to see him. Belinda. Must you make what statement? Why are you calling him names? Mother, Silas Elo is too basic to come in between us. Just tell him that I'm not around. Does it mean you're sending to that kind of errand? 
You want to pretend you don't know he's here to see you. Mother, stop, please. Just stop. My friend, get off from that mat, Biko. As if you don't know what I'm saying, Ibezim. Onyenze, I know exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But I've asked you one question which you are yet to answer me. Onyenze, why do you hate him this much? What do you hold against his desires to restore the glory of Omon? And who told you that he's restoring the glory? Prince Ike Dinimu is planning to destroy the kingdom. And a man like you, saddled with the responsibility of leading the youth, should understand what is going on. Zobior, I beg you just this once. Let me lead the youth to the best of my ability. And let me tell you, I still have three years, three more years. To the end of this, my second tenor, prepare to campaign against me and remove me from office if you think I'm not doing well. And what makes you think that you remain in that position until the end of your so-called tenor with the way you are going? <laughs> you want to kill me? <laughs> so, Biora, please, let's not drag this matter. If you think that I am not leading the youth aright, and that you can remove me from this office. Go ahead, but I tell you one thing. I have one feeling in my heart, and that is that Prince Ikednebu means well for Umongene Kingdom. And his desires, I will ensure I get the youth to support him in his desires. Mm? Yeah. I have a lot of women begging for my attention, but I chose you. I chose you because I love you genuinely. Why not make this easy for me? The question begging for an answer here is why? Why are you doing this? I have a fiancé and you know him. Why don't you choose from the multitudes of women you said are interested in you? Do I need to remind you that your so-called fiancé is not anywhere better than me? Huh? Or one at Poland? Okay, where is it only? Can somebody talk to I'm here, boss. Get me those things. Very well, boss. For you. Thanks, but I'm not interested in your gift. You didn't even see what you're being offered. Eh? They are beautiful jewelries worth over a million naira. I do not want you or your gift. And please, Silas, stop coming to my house to embarrass me. Oh, go, don't go, Kena, go, 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 go,
Mom, please warn your Silas. Warn your Silas to stop coming here. I am not the type of girl to be wooed by stupid gifts. Let him stop coming here. Makuto. Excuse me. May I have this? Thank you so much. I am so sorry about what happened. Mm. I promise to talk to her. She will come around. Thank you. You're welcome. Please talk to her. I am not here to waste her time. I want to make her my wife. And I'm serious about it. Let her just say yes. Come back with your knee in our system. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Uh. That's exactly what she is going to say. Mm. Trust me. Thank you. Oh, Dalo Rinne. Oh. Madam Ugwe. Uh. Dalo. Thank you. Oh. All right. Hey. I bring you. As I speak to you, he has already proposed to her. And I know that that guy will say yes to him. And the useless prince will not recover from the shock. Odd <laughs> home. That will serve him right. But I am bothered about a particular thing, a different thing. The chief priest of Mugen seems to be supporting him. And that should be our major concern now. Is this by here, sir? Or did you see Obuefi face to face? And he confirmed to you that he is supporting him. Truth is that I didn't see him face to face. But the people that said this to me are men that could be trusted. They cannot tell me that Obwe Fumi is about is supporting him when he is not. Well, I am not surprised. He is the chief priest. Any hidden practice is welcomed by him. Of course, yes. Do you know what? As for the chief priest, he cannot stop us. And no gods will stop us. We are all Christians, and we must have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Eh? As for Ibezim and Co, we find a land of our choice, sell it, and then use the money to buy them over. We use it to buy them back. Yes. Oh, uh, but did he confirm to you that it's money he needs? Uh, he doesn't need to uh, tell me such. I know how the minds of men work. Money can do magic. Mm. <coughs> so now, um, which of the lands are we going to sell? Uh, you take a decision. Uh, we buy them back. Okay, we will make arrangement for the land. Do you think I was joking with you? Go to your room before I slap you. Mom, what's the meaning of this? Am I in bondage in my own house? Tell me anything, I don't care. But you're not leaving this house until your father returns. That is what he said. I will never allow you to start disobeying my husband. Mom, but you know I can never disobey my father. So, why didn't you dress up to go out? when he had already ordered you not to leave the compound in his absence. Don't worry, mother. I'll be back before he returns. My tax is already out there waiting for me. This is your uh, yes, I'll be back before he returns. Hey, my friend, go inside. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, young man. How are you? Oh, oh. Um, Omar asked me to give you this. Who is Omar? What nonsense question are you asking this young man? Who 
is that person in this kingdom who does not know that Silas Ilo is the owner of Umongene kingdom? Well, Silas Ilo is not my owner. I can never be my owner. Really? Well, apart from asking me to give you this, he also wishes to invite you for a private dinner and discuss with you this evening, if you don't mind. Please, will you go and tell your mother that I'm not interested? What is it? What is wrong with this girl? Hey! Oh, uh, Nina, let me have it, please. All right, ma. Thank you. Uh, mother, Miss Transport visa to stop being hostile to my boss. He really loves her and is willing to do anything. I mean, anything in his capacity as an onwa to make sure she's happy. Hmm. And believe me, she will be happy. No problem. Thank you so much. Eh? I have heard of my mind. Collecting anything from this man. Hey! Look at the beautiful things he got for you. Hey! Hey! Mother, I don't need anything from him. You think I will allow your stupidity denying me the benefits I should be getting for giving back to you? Young, beautiful woman like you. And like I said, I don't need anything from him. Well, if you don't need it, I will sell them and use the money for better things. This guy has class. Hey! He is rich. And he buys original things. Hey! Mother, you actually make me laugh. Mother, why are you, why are you acting like we are poor? We are okay. Why, why are you acting like we really need this money? Willem, this has nothing to do with poverty. It has everything to do with the beauty and happiness of the woman. This guy is better than that of your prince. That will not amount to anything. Well, mother, whether or not he amounts to anything, it is the prince and no one else. <laughs> Please. Help me relay this message to your own. Hey! Go! Chukwabia. Listen, let me tell you here now. Hmm? I will never allow you to end up with any man that cannot guarantee your happiness. Hmm. I am your mother. And this is one of the decisions I must make for you. Mitchell, let me show you. Well, return these things, oh. Return these things, oh. Go and return these things to your mom. I don't want to. Mm. So, how did it go? Did she accept the gift? No, boss. But her mother did. The most annoying part of it is that she denied not knowing who is the owner of Umungene. Oh. Makuchi. Boss. Do not bother yourself. I will get her where I want her to be. I should be begging for more. I trust you, boss. In the meantime, that lady we met at Ayaka Trans Vanity Limited. She called that she would like to see you, but I had to dismiss her. Now that it is set in Berlin, that people will not be coming. Can I bring her over? Makutu. Boss. Makutu. Boss. Mm. Sure. Just arrange things. Fix her in any of the hotels around. Uh, um, I, I think um, Zodiac Lounge is better. Let her meet us there. Mm. Very well, boss. I'll see her later. Very well, boss. Uh, talk to you later. Thank you, boss. Hello. You have to figure out a way 
to accept this proposal. And what happens to my engagement to the prince? The prince is completely out of the picture. Out of the picture for who? He may be out of the picture for others, but not for me. I love the prince. And I'm going to marry him. And as for that Silas, who has presumably bought everyone around me with his, with, with his worthless money, he can go to hell. Watch your tongue, woman. Your so-called prince will not ascend that throne. Please tell her. This is the same thing I've been telling her, that that her so-called prince it will no longer amount to anything. I love the prince. That's why I'm marrying him. It's better you start hating him. And I am marrying him because I love him. I'm not marrying him for, for, for what, what he is or what he stands to represent. It is a prince or no one else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is her number not connecting? Why can't I reach her? I hope all is well. What is going on? I've been calling her number all day and it says switched off. Maybe I should just leave her a text. When her phone comes up, she'll see it. of a sister as son did there. You're still awake at this time, why? I've actually not gone to bed. <clears throat> what troubles you? All is not well. And you know exactly what the problem is. If you don't tell me what the problem is, how would I know? You have to tell me. Zobiora called me earlier today and he said a whole lot that made me believe that my brother is actually going astray. Ah, this man would not leave me be. Ah. Let's assume that I'm going astray. Who would stop me? I cannot stop you, Ikedinibu. But I am hoping that you will stop yourself by discontinuing this process that is threatening to set us against the people. What exactly am I doing that will set us against the people? What? It's only the evil men, the enemies, that would see it that way. What I am doing, Asa, is for the general good of the people. And as for these men, I am going to flog them into line. If a Nawalomba go with them, call the line in Janinem. I'm trying to restore the truth in Omo and Gene. And I need your support. You're my sister. Be my support. Be my strength. I need you. So that at the end of the day, we will all celebrate. What else must I do to make him listen to me? He's so stubborn. I have no What I don't understand is how my mother just suddenly changed all of a sudden. With the turn of events, it is expected your, your mom at this point must have been brainwashed. Don't you think so? But my mother, the only Madame Ukwe of Umungene Kingdom, is 
is well educated and should not have bought into those lies. If your mom turns out to be as objective as you expect her to be at times like this, then it would mean that she's not amongst the people who organized religion has changed their psyche. Organized religion has destroyed this land, Obi. This war is war against organized religion. I know, and that's the problem. That's why I'm worried. Father Donald called me. Oh, he was here. What? Yes, he was here, and I did not hesitate to tell him what I intend to do. And I'm sure he didn't take anything you said. Can I be honest with you? Father Donald is the least of my worries right now. What troubles my heart right now is this information that your parents are considering giving you out in marriage to, 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 to Silas. You know, it, it, it worries me. Opium. It worries me. Opium. Opium, you know that even if Silas Ilo were to be the last man on earth, I, Belinda, I will remain single. You know I love to hear you say that all the time. And I say it with every single thing in me. And I love you. With everything in me. Hi Belinda. Hi how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I hope I have not really kept you waiting for long. Alright. Let me just go straight to the point. I mean, I really do not understand why Silas would want to get married to you and you are refusing. Why? You don't understand? <laughs> I'm engaged to your brother. Engaged, you said. Not married. Since my brother is so stupid enough not to see, why are you wasting your time with him when a man like Oma of Umungene is ready to get married to you today, today? Belinda, what is wrong with you? Why not open your eyes? I cannot believe you're saying this. What can't you believe? Opportunity comes only but once in life. Since the elders have annulled your engagement with my brother, and with the way things are going, he is not ready to do anything about it. He is not ready to change. And you know that I am not in support of him. So the best I think you should do is to get married to Silas. Because your happiness for life will be guaranteed. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving your brother. We've come a long way. I won't leave him because the elders are determined to hide the truth. Huh. Wow. Really? Well, the only thing I'm seeing right now is that my brother has brainwashed you with so much lies. There's no lie. There's no lie on your brother's part. Instead, the elders are the liars. And their lies will catch up with them soon. You love my brother. A sinking love. What sort of love is that? Belinda, I've always known you to be a very intelligent girl. Why are you behaving like a dumb human being? You can insult me all you want, my princess. But that's not going to change my conviction. My fiancé is telling the truth. The elders are lying. I will stand by my man. Mm. Ibezim, why are you dismissing this issue as if it's nothing? I met this man and he confirmed to me that Zobiora sold this land to him. She did the same way. Zobiora and the other elders are selling the community land and pocketing the money. 
You see, we need to be very careful so that we don't play into their hands. No, Ibezim. I'm not asking us to play into their hands. But we can act fast and stop this transaction. Chidi, Chidi, Chidi. We are forgetting one fact. Which fact? This land is sold already. See, we don't need to fight too many wars at the same time. Bezim. Else we leave ourselves seriously injured. One thing at a time. And I'm assuring you that these elders will not know what befalls them. The Obiora. You have to give your brother that support that he needs because he cannot get it from our side. You are the one that should be giving him that support. I don't understand all this, Ichi. Did you actually come here on your own? Or my brother paid you to come and say all this nonsense to me? It is an insult for you to stand before me and allege that I was paid by anybody to come and say what I'm saying. I am here in my individual capacity and I came to tell you what you are supposed to hear. And I want you to listen. Listen. Leave, I, I took, leave all this your, I am a Christian, I am a child of God, I am whatever, nonsense. It does not just make sense. If I were to be a woman, without being all these things you are saying, there is no way I would have actually allowed any man to come into my father's compound to be touching me inappropriately in the same compound where the remains of my father was lowered. Enough. Enough, Chi. I mean, what's all this? Listen, I've got respect for you. And if you do not shut your mouth, I will lose it. Hey, you can as well lose it for all I care. That is not why I am here. I am here to talk to you because I am the one who can talk to you. Your brother needs your support. And I want you to give him that support. The gods and the ancestors of this kingdom are already supporting him. <laughs> 